What's up, guys? Iceman here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this damn video, if you will. Subscribe to the page. And swap that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my patrons. Links in the description below. So what we have here is a video about 10 of my favorite axes in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Most of them are the most godly axes, basically. But I have a few sprinkled in that I just think are really interesting, right? And I'll show you those in just a minute here. So to start off the list, what I would like to showcase is an axe built in an unusual base, which is a glorious axe. I always thought that the glorious axe had a good look to it. I remember when I first started playing Diablo 2 way back when I was a little duck-billed platypus. The humongous axe. The unique. I just loved the look of it, the idea of it, the crushing blow that it offered. Back then, I didn't even know what crushing blow was. I was like, wow, that must just be a really heavy hit or something. I didn't know that it was like 25% of the monster's life or 20% or whatever. <clears throat> With some diminishing returns in hell. I didn't know that, right? But I mean, I, I knew it was cool. But nonetheless, the first one on the list is a glorious axe base of death. Hell, L, Vex, Ort, Gull. This thing is 450 to 930 damage. Now, death is interesting because it has some very, very useful mods on it, especially for fighting bosses. Namely, the 50% chance of crushing blow and the deadly strike based on character level. Now, this character is level 93. Goes by the name of Axe Hog, and it's a maxed out whirlwind build. So, let's try this out real quick. <sighs> but it casts a glacial spike on attack. Now... Unfortunately, procs and such don't work with Whirlwind, so you're going to have to actually bash it or double swing with uh, one-handed axes, etc. in order for the procs to occur. But this is a very nice roll of death. It was in a superior glorious axe. This is a freaking perfect roll, 400% enhanced damage. But then it gives 20% bonus to attack rating, 50 to attack rating, some shitty lightning damage, 7% mana stolen per hit, which is a very nice mod. And again, the Crushing Blow, the Deadly Strike, one Light Radius, GGAF mod right there. Blood Golem. A charge of Blood Golem as well. So it uh, has 3,000 life, 400 damage. Let's see what he can do, actually. Let's go to uh, Cold Plains real quick. I'm not going to take this long on each axe, so I'll get to him in just a moment. But out of curiosity, I mean, he's going to do shitty damage. Can he even kill anything? Does he survive? And look at this, your Barbarian actually heals from that. But okay, I'm going to Whirlwind through them. Ooh, that's a bad attack rating. A little bit of bash here and there. Uh, quite destructive, however. Alright, there's death for you. And uh, just for reference purposes, this Barbarian has an Ariot's face on it. With an Umrune, Highlord's Amulet, Gold Rider Boots, Ravenfrost Ring, String of Ears Belt, one of my favorites. Mantled Heal for the cheap Mana Leech, Laying of Hands, and Enigma. Because I just like to teleport. I know, Fortitude would have been a lot better for damage, but I want to be able to teleport here. Alright, next on the list. A one-handed axe. Grief. Now, Grief is unusual because you're not going to see the damage added on your uh, character sheet. Just a little teeny tiny bit. Uh, it's not going to add the plus 400 damage that you see here, but that's why this is such a good item because of that 400 uh, base damage. So your multipliers just uh, exponentially expand that damage because it's just a, a base uh, solid damage. You can put a shield on with this thing in a Berserker Axe. I generally like them in a Phase Blade, but for the sake of the video regarding axes, I decided to make it an axe. And the axe does have higher damage. Granted, depending on your gear, the face blade will most likely attack faster. So overall, you might get more damage with the face blade. But the grief, however, in a berserker axe has a bit more range adder to it. So there's a lot of things to uh, to factor in here. But nonetheless, griefs has the uh, venom on striking, the 40 is 35 to 40. Some enhanced damage here because this is a superior item. Damage plus 400 on this one. Ignore targets defense. Very good mod. It's going to hit every monster. 95% uh, well, chance to hit all monsters except for bosses, champions, and uniques. And with those, you have the negative 25% target defense to benefit from on this axe, which does work against champions, bosses, and uniques. The nice damage to demons, the fire damage, negative 25% enemy poison res, which will help with the venom on this item. 
20% Deadly Strike, Prevent Monster Heal, which is a nice mod. Life after each kill and mana after each kill. So Grief is just... It's a freaking slug of an item. Uh, this is a very unusual way to use it with a sword. With, uh, with, a, with a shield, rather. But nonetheless, let's just see what it does to these little guys. Uh, it's not going to be all that special, because uh, Whirlwind really works well when you have an axe in each hand. But nonetheless, there's Grief. Uh, this is great for dueling. Of course, there might be better uh, with when it comes to like the rare axes with the Fool's Mods and things like that. But Grief is a good place to start. Just look at how that Storm Shield looks in uh, D2R. It looks pretty good. Love it how they look just like the icon in D2R. Okay, next on the list. Here's an unusual one. Give me a hell yeah if you guys have ever tried this one out before. Rune Master. I know, it's a very unusual axe. Uh, one that I generally don't like, but I mean, check this out. So, the damage on this thing... 279 to 564. A freaking Zod, Ohm, 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 <gasps> Rune Master, which can roll with up to five sockets, which is what this one has. So the Zod gives it the indestructible, it has some enhanced damage, 5% to maximum cold res. So, yep, we got 80 cold res right there. And cannot be frozen, so you don't really need to wear Raven Frost with it. So, Rune Master is quite nice. Um, you could pop, like, depending on your needs, an Umrun in there for some open wounds if you're fighting Ubers, for example. Uh, a couple Burr runes for uh, Ubers. Just a very customizable weapon. I don't really like it that much, but I mean, you, you can't you can't deny the epic damage this thing can get on it if uh, if you have five sockets on there. You could put like IES jewels in there and all that as well, just to make it GG. But let me know if you guys have ever tried out Rune Master before. Alright, next one on the list. Nothing too special, but it's cool because this is actually a Diablo 1 item, and there are a few of these on this list. All right, let me know if you guys remember this thing from Diablo 1. And back then I didn't know how to say it, and I probably still don't know how to say it. So let's try it on real quick. Let's get rid of those. That's right. Schmidt's Reaver in a Champion X. And I wish this was better, because it's just not all that great. Uh, but of course, this is an ethereal roll. I put a Zodrid in there, so we get the massive 264 to 750 damage. Indestructible on this thing, 200% enhanced damage. 232% enhanced damage based on character level, kind of like a Windforce mod, or Eagle Horn, rather. 100% bonus to attack rating, which is quite nice. Uh, some crappy fire damage, 15 to all attributes. So, I mean, there you have it. And look at how just, look at how epic it looks, actually. I didn't realize how how big this axe was on the character. It actually looks uh, almost as cool as a glorious axe. But let's try it out and get some undead. Which you're not going to leech from. A little bit of demons, this and that. Obviously, this isn't showcasing uh, basically the damage of the items. But, yeah, there you have it. A little bit of action with the Messerchmitz Reaver. <laughs> wow. Melee really got the shaft up the you-know-what in D2R, didn't it? But... Really, if you have an axe in each hand, maybe I'll showcase that in the end of the video, it's just, it's it's a lot better. So with Whirlwind, <clears throat> try an axe in each hand. Here's another unusual one. I always loved this thing, and unfortunately this one isn't ethereal, and I put a Zad rune in it anyway. But if it were ethereal, you would get crazy style points for using it, alright? It's a Tomahawk. Not uh, all that uh, reputable. In this game, but I think it's a cool axe. Razor's freaking edge. Just how epic this would be to find this in Act 1 Hell or something as a Frenzy Barbarian or a Zealot Paladin. Just imagine that. 107 to 188 max damage. Which is okay for an item this small, this cheap, and this fast. Alright, has 40% increased attack speed on it. It's indestructible because I have added in there. Up to 225% enhanced damage. But here's where the kickers are. Negative 33% target defense. So you're going to hit them a hell of a lot more. Alright, that's more valuable than a lot of AR. Plus 50% deadly strike. So half the time you're going to be doing double damage to this little sucker. At the least. 50% chance of open wounds. Cut the shit out of them. Make them bleed. 
take down the Ubers with this thing. In fact, maybe I'll try to make an Ubers video with Razor's Edge. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I just love this cute little item. And I remember in Project Diablo 2, you can slam like three sockets at the, in this thing back in the day. Or maybe that was Path of Diablo. And it was just a blast. But I mean, cool little item, nonetheless. Next one on the list. Another Diablo 1 item. Let me know if you guys have played uh, Diablo 1 and found yourself a Hell Slayer. That's right. Diablo 1 item, it wasn't that great in Diablo 1. It's not that great in Diablo 2. Unfortunately, it was actually better in Diablo 1. But in this case, it's in a Decapitator. An Elite Battle Axe is what that is. And at max, if you were a little higher level, you could get a bit more damage out of this thing. But mine right now sits at 146 to 981 damage. Some Fireball on attack, so you get style points there. 100% enhanced damage. Some damage based on character level, similarly to the Mr. Schmitz Reaver, is that how you say? I don't know. Fire damage. 46 to strength. 46 to vitality. 25 to life. Godly axe. Uh, I wonder, like... Let's see what the fireball proc is like. Just a really unusual, uh, weird item. There goes a holy bolt. There's a fireball. Yep, there's the torch. Wow, torch is just awesome in this game. Oh, look at how fast it attacks. Oh my god. It actually has a pretty good uh, attack speed. Uh, I think. Go to old Treehead Jerk Fist to come out. Yeah, but let me know what you guys think about Hell Slayer. Alright. Let's check out another few axes. But let me know in the comments. What is your favorite axe in Diablo 2? Or Diablo 1 for that matter. What do you like to wield? Have, have you made a axe-wielding barbarian? Let me know in the comments below. But okay. Here's a very unusual one as well. Executioner's Justice. Glorious Axe. I wish this were better, alright? But it's just not the case. Just kind of still sucks big you-know-what. But this thing has an unusual mod. Decrepify. Which uh, breaks target's immunities to physical... And slows them down. 50% chance to cast level 6 to Crepify when you kill an enemy. But again, procs don't work with Whirlwind, so you're going to have to bash the shit out of something to utilize this. Uh, I wish procs did work with Whirlwind. Hopefully they'll change that in the future, but I don't know. Project Diablo, Project Diablo 2 did that. Um, hopefully we'll see that in D2R. 30% increased attack speed. Some nice enhanced damage. Negative 33% target defense. And some crushing blow. And I put a Zodrud in this thing because it's indestructible. But yeah, we should see this thing in action because uh, this is just a fucking slug of an axe. And yeah, it's just that that is actually a really nice mod. The Decrepify, it's so helpful. When like, uh, I would, I'm guessing that would really help. There, it casts right there. It help against like in the Trav, for example. Uh, which is of course where you generally want to run with a Barbarian. Uh, farm that Trav. So these guys are pretty tough. If you can cast that Decrepify on them, you're good to go. But, I mean, yeah, you'd solve this by having a Reaper's Toll on your Mercenary. Let's see if I can get one to cast. What a pain in the ass. Oh my god. Hideous. Healing fast like you kill him. That's why you gotta get the Rowan going. Get that Rowan going. But, yeah, this is a showcase item in terms... This is just a collector's item, unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's not good. You don't hear about people using it. But it's just cool in concept. Uh, it needs more damage. This is just wretched. You have got to be kidding me. Look at this piece of garbage. Wow. Wow. Horrid. Horrid, horrid, horrid. Let's go back in here with like a weapon in each hand. But okay, let's 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 get that thing out of the way. Just a few more to show here. Breath of the Dying. Complete slug of an axe. This is one of the best ones. It's protection. It's offense. It's very offensive, so I warn you, those who wield it. 20% poison nova. 50% uh, chance to cast level 20 poison nova when you kill an enemy. 60% increased attack speed. 400% enhanced damage. Negative 25 target defense. Good mod again. 
Attack rating. Damage to undead. Massive amount. 200%. Life and mana leech. And a lot of it at that. Prevent monster heal. 30 to all attributes. Breath of the Dying is just one of my favorite axes. Alright. Last wish. Generally you'd want to make this in a phase blade as well. So it doesn't break. Great for ubers. Very protective. Uh, the damage lacks, but it does have the might aura when you put it on. Yeah, so check out that damage. Yep, cute little item there. Life tap on striking, 20% chance last level, uh, 20 charge bolt on attack, 6% chance to cast level 11 fade when struck, which is very nice, 17 might aura, 390% enhanced damage on this one, ignore target's defense like what the grief has, up to 70% chance of crushing blow, prevent much to heal, hit blinds target, 46 magic fine based on character level, it's a complete hog. Last but not least on the list, Death Cleaver. All right, style points uh, and an ethereal one. Duelers really like this thing because of the massive 66% chance of deadly strike, the uh, fast attack speed, 40% IES. This one, of course, the sheet damage or the damage on the one hand damage on this axe, 136 to 402. Uh, and that's a perfectly rolled Death Cleaver. But there you have it. But let's just go down in there real quick. Last wish. And Breath of the Dying. In fact, better yet, uh, it would have been a last wish and a, a death in a uh, basic Berserker Axe. But I have it in a glory axe, uh, Glorious Axe. So yeah, but Whirlwind does work a lot better when you have a weapon in each hand. And you can even get some Frenzies up. Or uh, actually on here I'd want... Yeah, you want Berserk. Yeah, Berserk is just crazy good. Yeah, look at Berserk go. Just destroys... Well, let me know what you guys think about that list. Uh, I, I love axes in Diablo 2. I love the Berserker axes, how they have a nice range adder to them. Uh, and they have low requirements as well. You know, they don't demand much. This one in an Ethereal. 38 decks, 101 strength, so not too bad there. The swords, unfortunately, are a pain in the ass to equip. But there you have it. Let me know in the comments, what are your favorite axes in Diablo 2 Resurrected? What else should I have had on this list? What's missing from it? What should be added to it? What should be taken away from it? Comment below your thoughts on those matters. And again, like this video if you will. Subscribe to the page and blessings to my patrons. Peace be with you.